What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with... You won't even believe it, Brad. You won't even believe it. We are back yet again with some brand new WWE action figure news. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Now, we did have a gap in the story. We covered it multiple times this week at all of the different news that we've been getting. If you guys did, not know we actually covered WWE Elite Series 97 just the other day. Well, today, I have Elite Series 96 for you, so we can fill in the gaps here. The other day, we recapped Elite Series 94 through 97, but we were missing... Elite Series 96. Now we will recap at the end. We'll go through all the series so you guys can have every series from 93 all the way up to 97 on there ready to go. But today we have Elite Series 96 and I was correct about one figure and we'll get into that and cover everything man. But with all that being said, let's dive into it. I do have to give a huge shout out to my mans real quick who actually hooked me up with the snooze. He got it off of the forums though, but it is a guy that I gotta give a shout out to. It is Real1XD on Instagram. King of the Underworld. Really appreciate it bro. Thank you so much for the info. But but today, man, let's go ahead and dive into the news. He hooked me up with this news. It is from the forums, but let's go ahead. WWE Elite Series 96. Now, the first figure in this set, guys, is going to be none other than Hulk Hogan, okay? Hulk Hogan is getting another Elite figure. You guys knew as soon as Hulk Hogan came back to the line or came back with Mattel, everything, you know, all those different things, we knew that he'd be getting figures pumped out, right? They're going to pump him out. He's a merch-creating machine, right? He's just a merchandise printer. You know, he's going to be moving merch, moving figures, moving t-shirts, all the different things. So Hulk Hogan's getting another figure. I just hope that we get a really good Hulk Hogan, you know? I hope that it's a good Hulk Hogan. I hope that we get it from a different era. It's not the same as all our other Hulk Hogans. You know, it changes it up a little bit. We are getting... We just got his Elite Series 91 figure. We just got his Ultimate Edition. We have other figures coming soon. His Survivor Series Elite just came out not too long ago. So we are getting another Hulk Hogan right here. And you guys know that he's going to be pumped out again, right? He's going to come again. They're going to keep making Hulk Hogan and keep making Hulk Hogan and keep making Hulk Hogan. You're going to wake up tomorrow and there's going to be another Hulk Hogan. So that's just the way it is man. It doesn't really bother me to get another Elite. His figures are fun to collect. He's got so many different looks, so we will see how the figure looks, but we do have Hulk Hogan. Now, the next figure in the set is going to be Brock Lesnar, and this is the figure that I think we saw at WrestleMania Access. The guy in the jeans, right? The Brock Lesnar in the jeans. The one that I speculated was an Elite Series 96. It actually is an Elite Series 96, so that is something that we can confirm. I guarantee it was the one in the jeans. If it's not the one in the jeans, then we have another Brock Lesnar coming, and then we also have the Ultimate Edition coming, so there's so many different Brocks, so many different things. I mean, there's so many Brocks coming. That's fine with me. I'm all on the Brock Lesnar train. We also have his Ruthless Aggression figure coming. Will these all be modern Brocks? Probably so. If there's a throwback in there like the Ruthless Aggression, I'm all for that too. I think it'd be cool to see an Elite in jogging pants or something from back in the day with a cloth shirt. I think that would be a cool look or do something crazy like that. But for the time, I think it is going to be the Brock in the jeans that we saw. The next figure is going to be none other than King Nakamura. We have Shinsuke Nakamura right here. I'm guessing he'll come with the IC title, even though his last figure came with the IC title, didn't it? I could see them doing that again. I'm sure, uh, of course, it's going to come with the crown. I'm sure, you know, that's the way it comes. I just hope that it's in his white gear or his white and black gear. We've seen red Nakamuras. We've seen some black Nakamuras. We've seen blue Nakamuras or, you know, some accents of blue with Nakamura. I really would like to see the white pants. That's my attire that I'm pleading for. I hope that we do get white pants Nakamura. I think that would be really clean. But Shinsuke's getting a new figure. Hopefully it's all good. You know, they're trying to update the roster. They're trying to get everybody they possibly can with the double jointed arms makes sense to me if a guy doesn't have double jointed arms he's more than likely if he's with the company and he doesn't have that double jointed arm figure out they're gonna pump that guy out i know we have the ultimate edition but they're trying to get him an elite in there so that is probably why they're gonna be doing this and i'm, I'm just hoping for a good nakamura that's all you can really ask for i'd like to see a new torso mold but i'm not gonna hold my breath on that now moving forward the next one in the line you guys are probably gonna be really excited about we have Ilya dragonoff with a figure we have Ilya dragonoff here with his first time in the line figure I'm just hoping for a good formula. I'm hoping that they probably, I don't know, I don't know how tall he is, but he doesn't look to be too, too tall. So I'm guessing that they'll probably, uh, I mean, I don't know if they'll use the Ricky the Dragon Steamboat mold. He's built at 5'10", and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat's actually built at 5'10 as well. I could see them using the Ricky the Dragon Steamboat formula. I think that'd be a really good formula for him. They could put him in the trunks. He'd have the nice ripped torso, great head sculpt, double jointed arms. I bet this, you know, the Ricky the Dragon Steamboat had a really good posability. He felt really good in the hand. I can only hope that's the same for Dragonov here. So I, I'm just excited to have, a, you know, a, a brand new figure here. Our first time in the line. It's not a ringside exclusive. You know, he'll probably come with the UK Championship. Maybe a cloth goods accessory would be really cool. I'm all for it here, man. I think this is an awesome figure, and he he brings new life to the set here. So we had three guys that we've seen in the line before. You get your first time in the line right here. And the next figure in the set is actually going to be none other than Kofi Kingston. So we have Kofi Kingston here. We speculated he would be in Elite Series 96 because we had, you know, Xavier Woods, a part of Elite 
Series 97, and we have Big E a part of Elite 95. So we figured you got to fill in the gap there. Elite 96 would feature Kofi Kingston, and it does. It does feature him right here. No idea what gear it's going to be. There's so I'm guessing that it would match Big E. So whatever Big E is in Elite Series 95, guarantee the Kofi Kingston and the Xavier Woods will match. And also, I have some news about that Xavier Woods from Elite 97. It is going to be the Chase figure. So that's kind of interesting to see because Big E and Kofi are not the Chases for Elite 95 and 96. So that's interesting. Eddie Guerrero is actually the Chase for 95. And I'll get into the Chase figure for 96 in just a moment. But Xavier Woods being the Chase for 97 is a little bit different than the rest of the guys because, you know, they usually go as a team there. So that'll be interesting to see what exactly we get for Woods as the Chase figure. But Kofi Kingston is featured here in a 96. Another New Day rendition there, Elite set altogether. I'm, I'm guessing they're going to be matching. That's just the way it goes. We've seen multiple renditions of this. They always look really sharp up next to each other. They all match. They all look good. So I don't have a problem with Kofi there. He'll be new, double jointed arms, really nice head. And again, man, they're going to update everybody on the roster with double jointed arms and new formula. So that should be really nice to see. And the last figure in Elite Series 96 is going to be, drumroll please, Dewdrop. It is going to be Dewdrop, man. We're getting a Dewdrop figure right here. And she is the Chase figure. I don't know how I feel about that. I would have liked, I guess because you guys know that they like to give the Chase to somebody they're probably not going to make for a while. Or it's going to be a little bit till they get their next figure. I'm not entirely sure when the next Dewdrop will get if we get one ever. You know, you never know with the roster turnaround nowadays. How everybody, should, you know, they're in and they're out. A guy could be here today. He could be gone tomorrow in the blink of an eye. You never know what they're planning there. So, Dewdrop is the Chase figure. I'm very interested to see how this figure comes out. It's going to have the double jointed arms. It's going to be moving around nice. I hope for good articulation. The women's figures have been on fire as of late 2021, early 2022. You know, they've been really, really good figures. So, I'm hoping the same will be this, you know, the same here for Dewdrop. I'm interested to see how the figure comes out when it is all said and done. But hopefully, it'll be a good gear. It'll, you know, stand out on the shelf, all those things. But Elite Series 96 is featuring Dewdrop. So, so that's that's very cool there to see that. So let's go ahead and run through Elite Series 93 all the way through Elite Series 97 so you guys can wrap it up in a nice bow there. So starting with Elite Series 93, man, we have Seth Rollins, Cesaro, Ricky the Dragon, Steamboat, Karrion Cross, Raquel Gonzalez, and T-Bar. Elite Series 94 is going to be Edge, Mace, Nash Carter, Wesley, Bret Hart, and Stephanie McMahon. And I think British Bulldog is the collector's edition. Elite Series 95 is going to be John Cena, Shotzi Blackheart, Big E, Bobby Lashley, Eddie Guerrero, Guerrero as the chase and Jimmy Uso. We have Elite Series 96 featuring Brock Lesnar, Hulk Hogan, King Nakamura, Dragunov, Kofi Kingston, and Dewdrop. And then Elite Series 97 is going to be Sheamus, Alexa Bliss, Omos, Xavier Woods, Ronda Rousey, and Chainsaw Charlie. So very interesting stuff going all around here, man. Lots of sets, lots of stuff coming soon. You guys know Elite Series 98, 99, and 100 are not too far off here. We are on Elite 93. We're waiting on Elite 94 to come in, but knowing these sets in advance is pretty nice to see. We can, you know, we can save up. We we know what's coming. You know, we don't have to have anything on the back burner. We can know exactly what we're going to get so you guys can prepare your wallets and things of that nature. However, we also have some battle pack and basic news real quick. So I'll go ahead and get into that before we break here. So getting into that really quick, like basic series 135 is going to be Brock Lesnar, Damian Priest, Braun Breaker, Nikki Ash, and Reggie as the chase. So you get a couple first time on the lines. Three, I guess, if you count Nikki Ash, but that should be pretty interesting. We'll get a Brock Lesnar that will have the updated head sculpt. I imagine, and things of that nature. And then the Battle Pack Championship Series Showdown will be Roman Reigns and John Cena, the Usos, and then Becky Lynch and Bianca Belair. So that's interesting as well to note. But that is all the news I have for you. Elite Series 96 as well as some other new figures. And then we do have Elite Series 93 through 97 confirmed. And then if you guys missed it the other day, we also revealed Ultimate Edition Series 15 in our Elite Series 97 video. So definitely go check that out. But that is all the news I have for you today. I think we are going to drop a brand new surgery tomorrow. Is so looking forward to the surgery, and then of course we do have the monthly battle royal coming very soon. We also have my birthday tomorrow, so we'll see if I get any good stuff or what the deal is there. I'll let you guys know as soon as possible. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the news. Let you let me know your thoughts on Elite Series 96 down below. I honestly feel like some of these sets coming soon. Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see the figures. I'm just hyped for Elite Series 100. That's kind of what I'm planning for. You know, I'm putting all my eggs in that basket. Hopefully everything delivers there. I'm really anxious to find out what the wave is. We're gonna do a full video on it here on the channel once Elite Series 100 is revealed and all those things. It may come at Comic-Con, it may not, but we'll have to see. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like, I, I don't know. Who cares at this point? I'm just kidding. Don't cross the line like me. You cross the line, I've been